Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and today we're going to draw Jose Ramirez. But first, a lot of you wanted to know how my very first live show went. And here's a little look at my table. I'm going to be honest, it wasn't a great show as far as sales. It was kind of a mixed show with all sorts of collectibles like sports, Pokemon, pop figures, Star Wars stuff, trains, you name it. And it was really fun to see all this stuff in the same room. But at the same time, it really um, diluted, uh, and, and we're on to Jose now. I guess that's the right word, deluded the audience and in no way am I dissing the show or the promoter or anything like that. It was really fun and interesting and uh, I, I just have to find the right shows for me. All this ties together with why I did this Jose drawing, I promise. Um, there are a lot of shows that I want to do but I can't get into quite yet. Uh, a lot of them are booked with regulars already and I'm kind of the new kid on the block. And um, you know, this whole thing is a learning process. I used to do indie craft fairs before my sports art life when I was doing silly t-shirts uh, years ago, but um, it took a little while to find the right shows. But each show was a learning experience and eventually the people that frequented those shows and the people that ran those shows became very familiar with me. And uh, I did my second sports card show this past weekend and that one went a lot better. So I'm learning already. Anyway, I should talk about this drawing. I get a lot of requests for Jose, but I did this one on spec, meaning I really didn't have a buyer for this lined up like I do for commissions, but I was pretty sure I could sell it. I could easily sell about four or five of these if I had the time to do them. But I did this one and another Cleveland drawing, Stephen Kwan, specifically for this show, hoping to snag some fish. I don't know how many people really want the leftover Luisa Rice doodle I did in a Miami Marlins uniform, you know? I spent hours putting together a nice 5,000 count box with quarter cards and I think I sold four cards out of that box and I brought a lot of unopened wax to sell and nobody even looked at it. I, I sold I think one slab and a few cards out of my dollar box and not even the vending machine got much love. It sounds like I'm complaining, I'm really not, I'm sorry, I'm just sharing my story, right? Um, this crowd really wasn't into what I was dishing out. Until, of course, my man Warren D from the CLE came around. He was excited to use the vending machine. He was ready to jump into that quarter box. And then I showed him this Jose and the Stephen Kwan, which I'll probably make into a short video. And Warren smiled with that big grin that he has. And he said, take my money. And uh, Warren's the best. And he kind of salvaged this show for me. So thank you, Warren. And then another guy that I already kind of knew, he bought a t-shirt and nobody was looking at the t-shirts either if you're keeping score, but thank you, Daniel. And uh, I'm gonna stop yapping now and listen to these tasty beats for a second. They're not like edible beats because those are gross. As I said, my second show was last weekend and it went much better. I had a guy that I didn't know. He was looking at my art and he was telling me that he'd want a Stephen Kwan or a Jose Ramirez doodle. And I had a lot more interest in everything on the table. I sold a bunch of shirts also to people that I didn't know. I even sold about 60 quarter cards and a bunch of old wax packs. So I definitely felt better about that. Uh, onward and upward, my friends. And poor Jose here, I barely mentioned him. I love the guy as all Guardians fans do. I'm glad this one went to my man Warren and I guess I gotta go make some more Jose drawings. So in the meantime, go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.